Greetings Aries and welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so Virgo is the servant and this is where you have service. This is also a place where sometimes things like work, having to do service work, working with other people as a team, and it's not always a really comfortable environment. Six House is a rougher house to deal with because it's like you take three steps forward, two steps back. You're still making progress. And it's a good place for making gains. Now here's this here's the thing, you got this new moon eclipse happening in that house. If you haven't been watching your health, you know, if you've been just like sitting at home, eating cake and ice cream, potato chips, you know, all the stuff you know you shouldn't be doing, it it could just shock you and put you in a place where you're un unwell. And with the eclipse things get emphasized. So it's like take care of yourself this week, you know? Um, there's a lot that could easily stress you out. Give yourself enough rest. Um, exercise a little bit. Especially yoga, breathing exercises, dancing. Things make you happy. It could be a happy thing. You could do a happy dance for exercise. It doesn't have to be a, a drag. And you look better. You know, you do some pull-ups and push-ups. You start looking a little better. It's, a, it's good for your body. Um, and, you know, you have enough to make it. And I think from all this work that you're going to be doing, because it's like a heavy work week, and Mars in the ninth, you know, with Saturn, it's like, how bad do you want this trip? How bad are you willing, how much are you willing to give up to seek uh, spiritual enlightenment? I think, I think a good illustration of that would be the movie about the Buddhist saint Marapa. Oh my gosh, yeah. You Aries, that's your homework. Go watch that movie. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. If you want spiritual work, there's going to be some work. 